We just got to the ledge and the sun has not risen, but the moon has. KK setting up the tripod. Griggsy is about to grab all the rods. And we are going to be spinning off the good tip, which is right there, for at least an hour before the tide gets too high. So get all the lures out. Here's your setup. We're rolling. You got your camera going? Can you check mine's going? It is. All right, okay, okay. Check your rod, like this. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Woo! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It swam towards me. Yeah, I can put in the fighting belt on you. Just keep the pressure on it. Did you see it? No. Oh, oh what is that? Is that a tuna? You might have a tuna. <laughs> Just drop this down a touch. Oh, that's good, way good. better. Everything's good. I think you got your first long car. Yeah. Just watch this rock. Yeah. Skyed it a little bit. Keep bringing her up. Whoa. Queenie. Oh, it's like Queenie. Big Queenie, big Queenie. Bail arm. Yeah. You got another Queenie. You are the queen of the queenies. Oh, yeah. Look how fresh it is. This one could try and kill you. Remember what we were talking about? Slithery. Slithery, slithery snake. You just keep him yeah. killed. Oh, he's fresh. That's Woo, cool. okay, okay. That's so cute. Well, that's a heavy setup for you. So much quicker. Yeah. Green. He's beautiful. Oh. We'll get a nice shot of him. Beautiful Queenie. And on your first fight on the heavy. Yeah, that was way easier. Little lift out. It's a freshie. Beautiful fish, KK. Cruise Lord. Yeah. Woo! Alright, let's get back out there because bang bangs. When you cast next, just do a very childers cast. There's so many midges on the camera. Alright, KK, I'm rolling. The midges are smoking my hands. <gasps> oh! Alright, Dad's back out there. Very excited for the sun to come up and blow away these bloody midges. Might be a queenie. I just got reefed. I just got reefed. The lure will pop out because it's barbless. Yeah, there's the lure. It already popped out. Oh, that's so sad. You keep casting, that was a GT. The lure will come in and some lucky fisherman's gonna get a $200 lure. It was a little one and it reefed me. It ate the biggest lure imaginable and bloody reefed me. It never really like did anything. I'm rattled. I saw the fish and I thought it was a little queenie. So it wasn't very big. It didn't pull a click of drag and then just proceeded to swim behind a bomb. <laughs> Take two. It's good to know they're out there. Those are all midges. Psycho, eh? Dad? Yeah? Can I switch to a... Hey? Can I switch to a lighter setup? Yeah, yeah, of course. My shoulder's hurting. 
Yeah, go, go, go. Just tell the camera what you're doing. Yeah. I'll help you clean it. <laughs> I'll help you clean it. <laughs> Smoked. What was that? That was a wave. Good. Yeah, but none of them splashed that high before. Right, it was just, it just that one. <laughs> right when you're walking by. KK is on the 10 pound setup. She got sore from casting heavy, which is very common. Really hard, oh. <laughs> Especially day after day after day. Tuna. This is gonna be the shortest tuna fight in the history of mankind. Cause I'm on big big. Look, it's already landed. Yeah. Look at it. Long tail. Woo! Is this our lunch? It's bleeding pretty oh, badly. Yeah. Do you want that for lunch? Yeah. Just hold on tight. Get good, good footing. It's such a heavy setup. He's he came in so quick. Look at him! We were gonna eat this guy and he's caning around! <laughs> Straight down here. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Uh, I think he's kicking out. Oh, he's dead. Hold this. Oh, we're gonna lose him. Oh, quick grab. Hold this? Yeah. Hopefully, no shark. You'll be fine. All right. Well, he couldn't make up his mind, and then he decided. It's a lot of meat, but we'll stake him up, or we'll make a big lunch out of him. You. We fished for like another 20 minutes, and the current stopped, and there wasn't any action. We moved the rods up, just in case the tide comes up a little bit more, but I think it's fine. And I'm gonna go get the gas cooker, lemons, salt, and a fillet in knife. Anything else? Plates? No plates, we'll just eat it out of the pan. Yeah. Oh, and a pan. And a pan. So Kale is warming up. It's actually quite cold. Oh, I'm freezing because I went for a swim for that tuna. All right, honey, I'll be back in a minute. Tuna's just chilling there, keeping cool. Tuna for breakfast today. Uh, back at camp. Kayla said salt was in her tent. There it is. 
gas cooker, salt. Fill it in knife, pan, lemon. Fill in a knife, salt, lemon, forks, and cooker. Oil. <laughs> Somewhere in there, there's coconut oil. I'm gonna go get the coconut oil. Coconut oil. I'll grab a spoon to put the oil in the pan. Quick, quick! Tuna's okay? Let's grab this tuna out. And we'll cook him up. We'll have some sashimi too, yeah? Where should we cook it? Maybe over there. Alright, we'll cook it up over there. Long tail tuna for breakfast. Yeah. You can? Super. Alright. It's like brunch. Brunch. Tuna brunch. Thank you, Mr. Tuna. Haven't had long tail for a little while. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had long tail. Or is that just normal? If you like ate sushi, you probably would have had uh, yellowfin tuna. No. Perfect. Yeah. But that can start heating. I'm gonna get us some steaks here. Take it. We'll take a piece out of here. I'm very aware that we're not going to be able to eat all of this fish. Yeah. It's probably only like five kilo. Yeah, but so much in just a five kilo fish. So much meat, eh? Yeah. It's the bloodline there. Yeah. Not yummy? <laughs> Well, it's probably really good for you, but not yummy. I'll get rid of the bloodline and the skin. See how dark the bloodline so, is? So dark. Do you want to try some plain sashimi just before we do anything? Yeah, a little bit. Just to see what's going on here. Tuna. We're gonna have a thin little slice sashimi, but then we're gonna steak this up. So good. Wow. It'd be really good with soy sauce. A bit I of think. soy sauce, that'd be amazing. Yeah. We got salt and lemon. I'll do us up some chunky steaks. Oh, we gotta skin it first. Or do we? How's that technique? I've never done that before. Yeah. Just like staked it and skinned it at the same time. This back strip, I'll do as one big strip. Bit of oil in the pan. Big coconut. I'll get this angled a bit better so it's a bit flatter. That's pretty good. We're just gonna sear it. Basically, you want the middle to still be like a little pink. <laughs> you never used the rock as a plate before, have you, Shaka? No. Maybe that top one can be yours because it's not touching the. No, I don't care. I'm, I'm fine. I'm gonna put the other piece on. Yeah. We'll get that cooking while. We smash these. Smash. Whoa, tasty. Salt. Celtic sea salt. Is it soft enough? Show me the inside. Oh yeah, it's still a little pink. It's still a little pink in the middle. Mm. Is it good? It's good. Tuna. 
I like it. What? Oh, it's burning. <laughs> Yum. It was good? Mm. Uh, that'll have a... You finish that and that'll have a piece. This piece here, pepperoni. I'll turn it off. That looks possibly amazing. Dad's gonna have a bite. How's GoPros on your head? Like how psycho you look with a GoPro on your head? Thank you, Mr. Longtail. No, thank you, Yum. Yum. Definitely needed some protein. Oh, it's pretty sore from yesterday spinning and eating muesli bars isn't really enough. You need big pros. I'm gonna pull this piece off. Soy sauce would be perfect, but next time. Still raw in the middle. Long tail. Definitely one of my favorite fish to catch and eat. Should we crack into that? Oh. Oh, oh. So hot. So crispy. Yum. Yum. Crispy good. Yeah. There's a yacht over there. No sail, full power, trying to steam it to another zone. This crispy bit that got a bit overcooked. It's so good. Watching us eat becomes redundant pretty quickly. We're gonna fill it up as much as we can of that long tail. And then next session begins. Did you eat rocks? Did you check the bottom for rocks? <laughs> if you get a crunchy, it's probably the rocks. Mmm! So full of tuna now. The rest of this, there's been a little reef shark cruising around. See if Mr. Reefy eats it. No, no. Here we go, already on it, already on it. Reef shark on it. Already on it. Two sharks, two sharks oh instantly tearing it apart. Oh, that's so scary. Three sharks. Yeah. It's too late now. But... Woo! Three sharks just tore it apart instantly. Oh my God, that's crazy. There's so many. That's why we don't go swim, swim. I was thinking like, oh yeah, maybe she'll sit there for 10 minutes and one will come in. Three or four just ripped it apart. They'll probably try and eat that skin too. Yeah. That was mental. <laughs> See the little remora on his back? He's just loving the noise and the oil. I'm just cleaning the pan and it was banging the rock when I was cleaning it. The shark came straight up. We put the skin in and we didn't even see the shark came and we were looking for him. <laughs> They're so stealthy. The current's going the wrong way at the moment. Terrible for this ledge and way too windy over there to fish. So we're moving all our gear over to this little crab. So it's kind of out of the wind and salt spray and stuff. And we're gonna head that way around this protected side of the island with the light tackle flicky flicky and just see if we can get it in. We've had a big tuna breakfast tummy full kk's flowering the sun's up it's nice and hot now we went from cold to really hot we've got the little micro setup we're going to choose our micro lures for this codling tusky session yeah. possible fusey i caught fusies yesterday here we'll go just here we'll do it right here Four meters. it was because the wind started pushing that way for the camera's audio you want no win. <laughs> Four meters. Yeah, you're starting to learn about YouTubing. It's so funny. Did you see? As soon as I felt that wind, I was like, oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. What's changed lower here? Yeah. Crackly audio in a YouTube films, the most annoying thing ever yeah. to listen to. Yeah. No, I know, but it was just funny that <laughs> we didn't get very far. Let's start some. We've got options. These little micros we are yet to throw. The mini mini diver. Yeah. Should we throw them? Yeah. I think so. Big kick colour. No one's ever caught a fish on these mini mini micro. I like Sla this one. Subtle differences. You like that one? Yeah, I think so. KK is liking the look of this guy. Nice transparent little number, bit of yellow on the chin, blue silver on the head. Rainbow. Shiny. Rainbow shiny flashy flash. Briggsy is gonna go. You love the stripey ones. I love the tiger prawn. I'm gonna go the tiger prawn. And we both have the same leader. We both have 20 pound leader. You've got 10 pound line, I've got eight pound line. We'll put these two little bad boys on. See if we can hook a codling. First fish, doesn't matter what it is. We want to catch the first fish ever on these little micros. Can I get one of the foils? Talk it up, my Oh, I don't know how many tiger prawns there are out here. But I reckon if a trouter sees one. Yum. I'll go over to this little rock. I reckon we get one here by the look of it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay, guys, point it up, point it up. Get it up. Yeah, yeah, not too hot, not too hot. Oh, it's a tusky! It's a tusky. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely smoked it. That's so good. I definitely smoked it. You definitely smoked it. They do try and reef you, so that was good. If your leader even just touches a rock, it's over. Oh, he's so cute! He's got blue teeth. I'll get the camera. Eww. Eww. Okay, okay. First ever fish on the micro micro. The tiniest diver. Oi. Oh, he's so pretty. Beautiful little tusky. We'll get a quick photo yeah. and we'll set Eww. him free. Eww. Oh, go. Yep. Woo! Try and get over to that big rock and then pepper that whole front zone. Check your leader. Just make sure there's no nick in the bottom area of it. Yeah, I think in that zone there. Should you feel it? Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll carry your rod this bit, Snarly. What do you think of Dad's work? I was actually thinking that it's like the funnest thing ever and that I would way prefer to do this over any other Rock climbing, eh? You got it. And we'll just do one off here. Be super careful if you cast. So just kind of do a mini. I'll grab you. Oh, I got one. Oh no. I got one. Is that a tusky as well? Oh, it's some sort of rat. Really beautiful, KK. I'm so happy. Um, I don't think I've ever caught one. They're cool. Do you just hold that line gently? Yeah, we go. Oh, it's pink. I swear it's changing color. It is, it's flaring up. Wow. Pink and green now. Beautiful, KK. What is it? Let me get a... Yeah, that's a good angle. That's a good angle. kind of rat? Here, drop him, drop him. buddy. Very cruise. Did he go on that cave? Probably. He had more air time than any other ass in the vicinity. Oh. So much air time. So much. Air time. I'm, if I take one move wrong, 
in the drink. Kayla's got two fish. Yeah, I chose a good colour. Did you choose a good colour? Yeah. I was making my way out here. And where did I come? You were in between that cup, but maybe come out with me here. Because you have peppered that little spot. We'll go up here. We're gonna catch a fish here, I reckon, hon. Yeah. Is my lens clean? Yeah, I think so. No splash? No, no splash. If I hook up here, very danger zone. Oh no, I'm getting hit. I was getting hits. Oh no, I'm on. Are you on? I'm on. You got it. Tusky. You got it. Oh! Get it Woo! Well, task. That's going to be the slipperiest rock ever, by the way. Finally, I got a fish. Mini prawn colour works as well. Phew. Sick little tusky. Ah. I didn't see where it went. Come down here. I blocked it. It hit my hand. Tusky. <laughs> he came out of that rock at the last second. On and off. Yep. Stripey. Stripey. Yes. They're very aggressive. He's a good stripey. Oh, there's coral in that rock pool. Oh, cool. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Frothy. Micro prawny colour with a beautiful little stripey. Uh, we'll de hook and set him free. Filming? Back out there. Sam went over there. Yeah. Towards a rock, I saw that. Little Tusky going back. See you, buddy. Oh, he went mental. I don't know where he went. Kick flipper. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful Ross! What the hell? I feel like if your one was female, this is male, or vice versa, but because they kind of look like the same species. Yeah. All right, we got to get a photo of this guy. We got to get the good camera out for him. I think that might be the prettiest fish I've ever caught. So pretty. It's mental. Yeah. So I think it's related to your one. It looks, it's another ras anyway. Look at the tail. Look how beautiful that tail wow. is. Full rainbow. That's so pretty. Micro prawn color kicking in now. Yeah. A little bit. 
Although we, you're hooking up. We've got, we've got the same, yeah. Ah, uh, well, we're lazy. Just have one quick one here. You stand on that oyster rock there, okay? That'll be so cool. I can't believe we haven't hooked a cod. Yeah. Oh, you remember the cod Sonny was catching when we were on that other island? Yeah. There's usually lots of cod. went in a crib. That's a tasty. It's always the tasties that launch the lower back now. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go. Keep it up. Head up, head up, head up. There's so little, that one. You stay where you are. I'm going to help you. You hold this? He probably goes straight under a rock, but we'll see what happens. Sand. Full sand. Sense I'm already in. Yep. Oh, nice. oh! <laughs> I think it's a tusky. Bit bigger. Uh, should be right. So I keep passing? You can keep passing. Hey, <laughs> just kick whip and slam straight into a crack. What we're gonna do, I reckon, is we'll change to different. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I saw that one earlier. It's aqua turquoise psycho. Well, I reckon you should do one of the divers, but you just choose your colour. Oh, it's got the rainbow on the side. It's got everything. Actually, you want to use this one. No, I don't. I'm going to go something else. Oh, I'll go this one. Go it. I'm going to go this one. i go green shine. Micro walk the dog. The little echo. Kayla's going green shine. Alrighty. Okay. You roller? Shut up. Try it over here. I'll do it once, but when you see bombies out wide like that, do this. So send it out. And you want to go tweak, tweak, pause. Tweak, tweak, pause. And just keep doing that. And then once you're past that bombie zone, you can go back to your normal working. But out there, the fish are deeper. So it might take them longer and you give them a chance to decide if they want to come up. Quick, quick, pause. Quick, 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 pause. Yeah. Before switching to the normal. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, go, go, go. Slow down a bit. Slow down, you good. We'll keep the clip up. We're bringing it up. 
Trout? Oh, I don't know. Oh, big tusky. Yeah, tusky. We got a big tusky. I was doing your thing that you just told me to do. Bigger. Yeah. Way bigger than the others. Because yeah. bigger lure. That was yeah. the plan. Bigger lure, bigger fish. Beautiful it's fish. Pretty. Hey, pretty. You. you. <laughs> and we're gonna head back to the actual big camp, get some food, and refuel for the Arvo session. I think we've still got about another hour or two before the tide turns, but we want to be back and ready for when it does. What do you reckon about this one? Okay, okay. You like look at this, eh? You want a little quack quack? How tropo is that little beach now? Made it back to the ledge. We're leaving camera gear, fishing gear. Got one backpack and we're going back for food and drinks. Do you have a Gatorade? I've got a Gatorade I haven't had. I've had my coconut. Fishing briefly. Catch a few fishies. <laughs> Alright, let's be quick because I think current could be happening any moment. What are we getting? Chocolate? Do you want to try my crocs? Kayla's toes are dying. Mine are too. Oh, that's exactly. Try them, just try mine. Put, put it on and see how it feels. Kayla's putting on crocs to avoid the big toenail bend back death triangle. We're going some beef jerky, rice crackers, and Gatorades, water, and a chocolate down the bottom there. Flared up. And we got our head torches this time. We were walking back in the dark yesterday. Danger walk. Your fringe is. You had a horse fly on a leg. It's all over me. Help. Where? There it is. <laughs> Alright, let's go. No, I, if I hook a big bang bang, I want max chance of grip. They're good grip, but they're not as good as Volley. Volley slightly higher level grip. I'm going to get a little blessing from the magic lure that we found. Big. How do you do that? It's so bad. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Got our little snacks, heading back to fishing zone. I think the current will change very shortly. Biggest rope in the whole universe. Big rope. Oh, I'm frothing for the Arvo session. I'm just watching, waiting for the current to start. I watch the bubbles and just see when they start moving that way. It's kind of a thing about casting your lure too soon before the current's running and the fish aren't feeding yet but then they start seeing your lure over and over and over again and they're like oh, I know what that is, I'm not that keen once they get to feeding mode. So it's good to let the current start doing its thing before casting your big but you can cast your light so maybe we'll have a few casts of the light first See if we can hook a little queenie again, maybe a tuna. And then I'll switch to heavy. How's your shoulders feeling? Not too bad. I'm kind of getting used to it. Okay. I wouldn't mind like catching something different too, like a mackerel or something. You had a little barracuda come up actually, remember that? Yeah, let's see what we get. What setup do you want to use? Okay, I'll go big. Keep it in the water. That's so cool, Kayla. That was first cast. That's so cool, KK. I'll land him, okay? Yeah, that's my first GT. It's your first GT. Baby. Right. 
Yeah. Yeah. Up to the ball. That's so cool. So cool. First cast. You, you, you know the go. You know the go here. Ew. Okay, okay. First ever GT. First GT. He ain't the biggest. He's cute. But he's the first. He's the cutest. He's definitely cute. They go hard, eh? Yeah. You had good drag setting though, like you stopped him pretty quick. Yeah. He's a good guy. Lift him up a touch. Alright, we'll release him. Gotcha. Gentle. Yeah, he'll kick off. Woohoo! Yeah. First GT, go! Yes. I think I'm gonna have a couple on the heavy just in case there's big dog down there. Let's set up the tripod. I will just have a few. If nothing's out there, we'll go light again. Keep it chilled until the current's running a bit harder. I think it's just a queen. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a huge queenie. Oh, there's something under it. It's another queenie. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was huge. That was a really big queen fish. That was Let's go queenie. Because he had a mate. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a large queenie. <laughs> Leave your heavy here. KK's just changed to this rogue. I actually caught a big tuna on this years ago. So while we've just rigged this one up for Kayla for light, I'm gonna rig her up with a floating stick. She likes to look at this one. We will see. Guiding him. Oh, oh. He's got a lot of energy still. How are those jumps, Taylor? Were you rolling? Yeah. On the early dawn just then. Yeah. Up to the ball. Ooh, that is a long queen fish, guy, guy. Yeah, I got hair in my nose. Hair in your nose, you do. <laughs> yes, and he devoured. He devoured that lure. Oh, he is. He's a, a big dog. Very energetic guy.
guy for it. Kayla the Queen Fisher. Okay, it's been 24 hours now of fishing. You've caught more fish than you've caught in your entire life. Yeah. <laughs> and the biggest ones as well. Yeah. So cool. And the prettiest. This is really cool. Alright, we're gonna finish out the session on these two heavy setups. Yeah. Hey, bang, I'm coming. Come on, buddy. Big dog. <laughs> You're out there. Yeah. Just everything smooth and slow. Yeah, that's it. Keep it smooth. You want it to dive under. And then just at the end, stop sweeping and wind it up so you don't get wind knocks. Yeah. You're on top. So just swing him over here. Yes. Watch the lure. It's okay. I know. I'm, if it flings, I'm gonna fling the other way. Still got some pepper in it. Yeah, lure will fly at us if he kicks it out, and it's barbless. So. You gotta keep the pressure on, but not lift too much. Okay. And as soon as I touch, it's open bar, okay? Yeah. Watch out! Yeah, go, go. That's the coolest fish so cool. I have ever seen. So cool, Carla. <laughs> It, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. This is what killed Nemo's mum. <laughs> Kayla! Barracuda! Wow! This is the coolest thing All right. that's ever happened. He is a long guy too. Oh my god. Woo. On the Molossi Chieftain 190. He's huge. He is long. He is He's huge. really long. Here he goes. Okay. You might have to bear hug a little. So if you pull him to your body, you'll get slimed. But see this, he can't hurt you. Gentle, just like a. We got enough. Oh my god, that was so cool. I loved it. I loved it. Barracuda. It's a big one! It's 
the barracuda again! I got another barracuda! Oh, I lost it! That was so cool! I love barracuda! Oh, my spine! My spine! Kay Kay, how you feeling? I feel like my wrist has some problems and so does my elbow. My spinal column. Same. Very bad. But I am feeling very fulfilled right now and satisfied. Okay. Even though I lost some big fish, I'm still very, very happy. Kayla. Oh my god. Yeah. Kayla. Continue. It's just go. Kayla said to me before when the cameras were off, I really like fishing now. Actually, you might have said it when the cameras were off. I think I was filming. My, I think my camera I think it was. Yeah. Big sleep time, pack everything up. Straight to bed and then back here in the morning. But when it looks like this again, when the sun's not risen yet, we'll be yep. here again. Covered in midges. Oh, that was so <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed the film. Yeah.